Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Join us on this channel to explore inspiring projects for a sustainable tomorrow. We bring you the latest in renewable energy, sustainability, and cutting-edge technologies. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. Welcome to our series on solid oxide electrolysis cells, SOIX, a groundbreaking technology that has the potential to transform the green hydrogen landscape. In this series, we will explore the fundamentals of SOIX, their advantages over traditional electrolyzers, and the challenges and opportunities associated with their development and deployment. We will also delve into the integration of SOIX with renewable energy sources, their potential applications, and the role they could play in the future hydrogen economy. Throughout the series, we will cover the following topics. 1. Introduction to Solid Oxide Electrolysis Cells, SOIX. 2. Advantages of SOIX over traditional electrolyzers. 3. Integration of SOIX with renewable energy sources. 4. SOIX applications and market potential. 5. Challenges and Future Outlook for SOIC Technology By the end of this series, you will have a comprehensive understanding of SOICs and their potential to revolutionize green hydrogen production. So, let's begin our journey into the world of solid oxide electrolysis cells. Episode 1, Introduction to Solid Oxide Electrolysis Cells, SOICs In this first episode, we will lay the foundation for understanding SOICs and their role in green hydrogen production. Understanding SOICs Solid oxide electrolysis cells, SOICs, are a type of electrolyzer that uses a solid oxide electrolyte to convert water, steam, into hydrogen and oxygen. Unlike traditional alkaline and proton exchange membrane, PEM, electrolyzers, SOICs operate at high temperatures, 700 to 1000 degrees Celsius, which offers several advantages in terms of efficiency and flexibility. The basic components of an SOIC include a cathode, an anode, and a solid oxide electrolyte. The cathode is typically made of a porous nickel yttria stabilized zirconia, NYSZ, cermet, while the anode is usually a perovskite material such as lanthanum strontium manganite, LSM. The solid oxide electrolyte, which is the heart of the SOIC, is a dense ceramic material, most commonly yttria stabilized zirconia, YSZ, that conducts oxygen ions at high temperatures. During operation, steam is fed to the cathode side of the SOIC, where it is reduced to hydrogen gas and oxygen ions. The oxygen ions migrate through the solid oxide electrolyte to the anode side, where they combine to form oxygen gas. The high operating temperature of SOICs enhances the ionic conductivity of the electrolyte and reduces the electrical energy input required for the electrolysis process. One of the key advantages of SOICs is their high efficiency compared to low temperature electrolyzers. The elevated operating temperature allows for a portion of the energy required for electrolysis to be provided by heat, reducing the electrical energy input. This heat can be sourced from various external sources, such as nuclear reactors, concentrated solar power, or industrial waste heat, further improving the overall efficiency of the system. SOIC Operation and Performance The performance of SOICs depends on various operating conditions and parameters, such as temperature, pressure, current density, and voltage. Typically, SOICs operate at temperatures between 700 degrees Celsius and 1000 degrees Celsius, with pressures ranging from atmospheric to several bars. The current density, which represents the amount of electrical current flowing through the cell per unit area, is a critical parameter that affects the hydrogen production rate and efficiency. To evaluate the performance of SOICs, several metrics are used, including energy efficiency, Faradaic efficiency, hydrogen production rate, and hydrogen purity. Energy efficiency is a measure of the overall system efficiency, taking into account both the electrical and thermal energy inputs. Faradaic efficiency, on the other hand, represents the fraction of the electrical current that is effectively used for the electrolysis reaction. Hydrogen production rates and purity are essential factors when considering the practical application of SOICs in industrial settings. Several factors can influence the performance of SOICs, such as material properties, cell design, and mass transport limitations. The choice of materials for the electrodes and electrolyte plays a crucial role in determining the efficiency and durability of the cell. The microstructure and thickness of these components also impact the performance by affecting the ionic and electronic conductivity, as well as the gas diffusion properties. To optimize the performance of SOICs, 
researchers are actively exploring various strategies, including advanced material development, novel cell and stack designs, and process intensification techniques. For example, the use of nanostructured electrodes and thin film electrolytes has shown promise in enhancing the electrochemical performance and durability of SOEX. Additionally, the integration of SOEX with other system components, such as heat exchangers and gas separation units, can further improve the overall efficiency and economics of the hydrogen production process. Advantages and Challenges SOEX offer several key advantages over traditional electrolyzers, making them an attractive option for green hydrogen production. The high efficiency and reduced electricity consumption of SOEX, thanks to their high temperature operation, can significantly lower the cost of hydrogen production. Moreover, the flexibility of SOEX in terms of heat source integration allows for the utilization of renewable or low-carbon heat sources, such as nuclear power, concentrated solar power, or industrial waste heat. Another unique advantage of SOEX is their reversibility, which means they can operate in reverse mode as solid oxide fuel cells SOFCs, to generate electricity from hydrogen when needed. This feature opens up opportunities for energy storage applications, where excess renewable electricity can be used to produce hydrogen via SOEX, and the stored hydrogen can be later converted back to electricity using SOFCs during periods of high demand or low renewable energy availability. Despite the promising advantages of SOEX, there are still some challenges and limitations that need to be addressed for their widespread commercialization. One of the main challenges is the material durability and stability under the high temperature operating conditions. The harsh environment can lead to material degradation, such as electrode sintering, electrolyte cracking, and interface delamination, which can compromise the long-term performance and lifetime of the cells. Scalability and manufacturing challenges also pose hurdles to the widespread adoption of SOIC technology. The fabrication of high-quality, large-area cells and stacks requires advanced manufacturing techniques and strict quality control measures. Moreover, the cost and availability of materials, particularly rare earth elements used in some SOIC components, can impact the economic viability of the technology. To address these challenges, extensive research and development efforts are underway in both academia and industry. Researchers are focusing on developing advanced materials and coatings that can withstand the harsh operating conditions and improve the durability of SOEX. Novel cell and stack designs, such as segmented in series and multi-stack configurations, are being explored to enhance performance and scalability. Additionally, techno-economic analyzes and system optimization studies are being conducted to identify the most promising pathways for the integration of SOEX with renewable energy sources and industrial processes. Conclusion in this first episode, we have introduced the concept of solid oxide electrolysis cells SOEX, and their potential to revolutionize green hydrogen production. We have explored the basic principles, components, and operating mechanisms of SOEX, as well as their advantages over traditional electrolyzers. However, we have also discussed the challenges and limitations that need to be addressed for the widespread adoption of this technology. As we progress through the series, we will delve deeper into the various aspects of SOIC technology, including their integration with renewable energy sources, potential applications, and the future outlook for their development and deployment. By the end of the series, you will have a comprehensive understanding of how SOICs can contribute to the realization of a sustainable hydrogen economy. Stay tuned for our next episode, where we will explore the advantages of SOICs over traditional electrolyzers in more detail and discuss their potential for integration with renewable energy sources. Thanks for tuning into the ReneeEnergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoy the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.